Let me show you how to uh, shrink and expand a file system on, uh, with SD Clone 3. Um, so what I did in uh, prior operations, I restored a disk image um, to a, uh, a disk image um, on uh, Mac OS. Um, so I'll go ahead and select that. You can see that it's, the use space is uh, 7.97 gigabytes and the media is filling up the, the entire mount. But actually the file system doesn't actually use, uh, or there's not actually data on the majority of that file system. Um, so what we want to do is do the shrink operation. So let me select that disk image and I'll click on shrink. And I'll say okay. And so what it does is it looks at for the last, the Linux, last Linux partition that's on the disk. Um, and then it's able to um, just reduce the size of that left, last partition um, to only occupy the amount of size that's used. And so this become, makes things much faster because then you're only um, uh, uh, backing up or cloning the used space. So you can see the amount of used space is now less than uh, a gigabyte. So if I were to select this and, and click on save image, I'll go ahead and save the image and I'll call this uh, shrunk, shrunk image. And I'll save this on my desktop. And you can see that uh, if you've looked at other videos that show you when we were doing the entire eight gigabyte card, um, it's, it would actually be takes a lot longer and has to back up a whole bunch of data um, that is not used. And so what this does is it allows us to uh, shrink that file system down just to the size that's being used and then be able to make an image of just that used space. And that makes operations much, much faster. All right, the operation is done. And so let me show you a little bit of uh, how the size difference is. Um, so this is the shrunk image that uh, I did, and it's uh, the actual image size is 257 megabytes. The original one that I uh, that the SD card I had was an eight gigabyte card, and you can see that this image I created of it, the original one, was actually right around eight gigabytes. We got a, a little bit of savings because of the compression, the zip compression, um, but you can say that see that the data on this one that I've highlighted is 7.38 gigabytes is the same uh, basic image that will restore as this shrunk image. So um, when you end up restoring this image, um, it'll automatically expand and take up all the useful spaces. It'll be a lot faster. And let me actually show you that operation. Let me eject this uh, sparse bundle because we don't need any more. Here's the shrunk image. And I will go ahead and insert an SD card into my Mac. Oh, it's actually locked. Let me unlock it. And once, uh, once the Mac recognizes it, um, I can select the shrunk image and there's the, the, the actual SD card that I inserted and then I'll go ahead and restore it. So um, it will only have to restore 756 megabytes of data um, and then it'll uh, expand that last Linux partition so it'll make all the rest of space available um, when you boot it up um, into the, to the Raspbian OS. Um, you can see this, this take, took me, I think, about 20 minutes before. Now it's going to take you know, probably less than a minute to be able to do it because it it's, uh, only has to copy that, that um, used data. Once it's, again, once it's completed the, the restoration of it, it will uh, expand that last partition um, so that it'll um, I'll make that space available um, for that last partition. So it'll, it'll occupy that entire space of the SD card. So it makes this operation much, much faster. Um, one of the kind of benefits of SD clone as well is you can restore to multiple SD cards simultaneously. Um, so you can take this shrunken image and restore it across multiple cards and it'll become very, very fast um, to, and complete very fast. Uh, so you don't waste a lot of time backing up and restoring data that is basically not used.